Welcome to Level Ideas, a video series dedicated to bringing you unique ideas for each course theme. Today we're going to cover eight creative forest ideas, and we're starting right now. Luigi noticed some suspicious activity in the swamp lately. For some reason, tree stumps when touching poison have been acting strangely. To create these effects, we start by placing chain chomps on top of bombs. Once they hit the poison, the bombs explode the chain chomps, leaving a stump alone. We can use a music block on a vertical track to bounce the stump upward, thwomps on tracks to have the stumps move back and forth, or even stumps on top of bullet blasters that are an on-off conveyor belt to manipulate movement of the stumps. Now that Luigi knows the secret of the stumping stumps, he can safely scout the stream of sludge. We just got word that Yoshi's forest has caught fire. In order to save the forest, Luigi must headbutt enough lava bubbles to satisfy the clear condition, while being careful not to lose his fire-resistant shell mitt. To save Yoshi, he has to extinguish falling waves of fire that come from long hidden tracks above it. If he misses even a single lava bubble, the flames will fall onto the track below. The fire then ignites a bomb contraption that activates a P-switch and causes the entire forest to burn with Yoshi and Luigi in it. Luckily, headstrong Luigi puts out the flames and saves the day. Luigi has discovered that Cheap Cheeps have a special property when dropped into poison. They are imbued with the power of toxicity. Luigi and Yoshi come across a swamp where flying Koopas are holding bullet blasters. These bullet blasters are shooting out Cheap Cheeps that become contaminated once they hit the sludge. Our heroes cannot touch them without getting hurt, but Yoshi can lick them up to spit three purple flames. By launching the purple fire, Yoshi can kill the Koopa, which allows the bullet blaster to drop down. Thanks to some ground tiles below the purple goop, these bullet blasters become platforms for Luigi and Yoshi to safely continue through the swamp. While exploring the forest, Luigi decides to take a break at a relaxing pond. Do you hear something? What is that? A possessive porcupuffer appears out of nowhere and tries to make Luigi a tasty meal. While the pond floods, Luigi's only chance is to stay on top of the crates and avoid the pointy spikes and cheap cheap cannons. If Luigi can manage to make it to the top, he is able to pick a fire flower and launch fireballs through a glass pipe to defeat the porcupuffer once and for all. Luigi being a daring explorer, or just bad with directions, has gotten himself lost. He looks to find a way out of these wandering woods, but it appears no exit is clear. Luckily, he brought a map with him in the top right of each room. The ice block represents where he is currently, while the hard blocks are the other rooms to explore. As Luigi completes puzzles, new items begin to appear out of nowhere. We're able to do this with a technique called spawn blocking. Spawn blocking refers to when you place an object or enemy inside the same place as a breakable block in the course editor. Initially, the item won't spawn, but if you destroy or remove those blocks somehow, the next time you come into the room, the hidden item will spawn instead. We can use this idea to add mystery and intrigue into our exploration level and give Luigi new tools to escape as he progresses. Famished Luigi stumbles through the woods looking for something to eat. He finds a clearing that smells of honey and thinks, what's the worst that could happen? Just then, bullet blasters start launching angry bees into the arena. Just as Luigi thinks he can safely back out, more bee blasters crash through the ceiling to block his path. Once he survives for long enough, the ground opens up and allows him to sneak away from that sticky situation. We use track blocks to create this effect out of Luigi's view. The blocks slowly move towards bombs and cause them to explode, dropping down the extra bee blasters and eventually triggering the P-switch. Boom Boom has been boasting about his unbeatable burrow. Luigi decides to call his bluff and battles the bragging Boom Boom. When Luigi enters the arena, three moving vines appear to give him an opportunity to stay above the deadly spikes. To create this setup, we place vines in note blocks and put those note blocks on tracks. 
We then put a muncher directly above where each note block will start, and have the munchers bounce to land on top of clouds to avoid them from continually hitting the note block. We also use a thwomp on a track to remove the safety block under the door, causing Luigi to have to use the vines in order to complete this challenge. After a few well-executed jump attacks, Luigi is able to safely get the key and exit the arena. Luigi walks along the river and notices something strange about the water. The reflection doesn't quite match what he sees around him. By using these anomalies, he's able to find secrets that no one else can see. He can find hidden blocks with power-ups, or items to help him progress, pathways through the water to different parts of the course, or even to see what enemies are going to pop up before they do. If you want to see even more unique level ideas, check out the playlist on your screen right now. If you want to stay updated in Mario Maker 2, learn to make courses, and improve your level design, remember to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.